Have you ever wondered what makes military explosives so devastatingly powerful? The answer lies in their intricate design and the science behind them. Military explosives and demolitions have always been a crucial part of warfare, creating a significant impact on the battlefield. They're not just about destruction, but also about strategy and precision. From the humble beginnings of gunpowder to the modern complexities of C4 and shaped charges, these explosives have shaped the course of conflicts and continue to evolve in their potency and versatility. Their power can change the tide of a battle, break enemy lines, or even carve a path where there was none. Each explosive has its unique characteristics and uses, from the raw power of dynamite to the precise impact of land mines. This video will explore these fascinating tools of warfare, breaking them down one by one to understand their purpose, their power, and their role on the battlefield. So, stay tuned as we delve into the world of military explosives, one explosive at a time. First on our list, C4, a common yet powerful military explosive. Comprised mainly of a material known as RDX, C4 is a plastic explosive, which means it can be molded into any shape. This versatility allows for a wide variety of applications, from breaching walls to disabling vehicles. But what sets C4 apart is its stability. Despite its high explosive power, it can withstand physical shocks and high temperatures without detonating. This makes it safe for soldiers to handle and transport, reducing the risk of accidental explosions. In terms of effectiveness, C4 is unparalleled. Its detonation velocity, the speed at which the explosion travels, is over 27,000 feet per second. This immense force is what allows C4 to wreak havoc on even the most fortified structures. C4's unique blend of power, versatility, and safety make it an invaluable tool for military operations. C4, a simple yet destructive tool in the military arsenal? Moving on to dynamite, an explosive that's as versatile as it is potent. Born from the mind of Alfred Nobel in the mid-19th century, this powerful tool has a storied history. It's not just about the bang, it's about the versatility. Dynamite is a stable, manageable explosive that can be safely transported and used for a multitude of purposes. It's been employed in construction, mining, and yes, military operations. It's the Swiss Army knife of explosives, if you will. In military use, dynamite's power and stability make it an excellent choice for demolitions. Need to clear a path? Dynamite. Need to disable a vehicle? Dynamite. It's the go-to solution when precision isn't as important as raw power. Its effectiveness lies in its simplicity, a straightforward chemical reaction that results in a forceful explosion. It's a tool, a weapon, and a statement. Dynamite, a testament to the power of versatility in military operations. Next, we look at shaped charges, the precision tools of the explosive world. Shaped charges are uniquely designed for focus, directing the energy of an explosion in a specific direction. This is achieved by shaping the explosive material in a way that concentrates the blast in a desired path, rather than allowing it to disperse randomly. The result? A precise, concentrated blast capable of penetrating armored vehicles and fortified structures. These charges are extensively used in military operations for their effectiveness. Whether it's breaching a bunker or disabling an enemy vehicle, shape charges provide the precision necessary to achieve the task with minimal collateral damage. They are also used in demolition and mining, where accuracy is paramount. The brilliance of shaped charges lies in their simplicity. They use basic principles of physics to create a highly effective tool, proving that sometimes less really is more. Shaped charges, where precision and power meet. Finally, we come to land mines, a controversial yet impactful military tool. These devices hidden beneath the Earth's surface serve as a silent yet deadly component in many military operations. Landmines come in a variety of types, each with its own unique properties. Anti-personnel mines, for example, are designed to incapacitate or kill individuals, while anti-tank mines target vehicles. These tools are valued for their ability to disrupt enemy movements and protect key locations. However, the effectiveness of landmines is not without controversy. Their very nature, hidden, indiscriminate, and enduring, is a source of contention. Once planted, it's difficult to control who or what triggers them. 
They can remain active for years, even decades after a conflict has ended, posing a significant threat to civilians. Despite this, their strategic value in military operations is undeniable. In the heat of conflict, they can alter the course of a battle, slow down an advancing enemy, or protect a retreat. They have been used in countless conflicts throughout history and continue to be a part of many military arsenals today. Yet, the debate continues. Are the tactical advantages worth the long-term risks? This is a question that military strategists and humanitarian organizations grapple with regularly. Landmines, a tool of war that leaves a lasting impact, both physically and metaphorically. From C4 to landmines, our exploration of military explosives has been quite the journey. We've delved deep into the intricacies of these formidable tools of war, each with its unique properties and uses. We started with the power of C4, an incredibly stable yet potent explosive, admired for its ability to be safely handled and stored until its destructive potential is needed. Then, we moved on to dynamite, a versatile explosive that changed the game upon its invention. Its ability to help in construction projects and yet be a formidable tool in warfare truly sets it apart. We also discussed the precision of shaped charges, explosives designed to focus their destructive force in a specific direction. A testament to the ingenuity of military engineering, shaped charges are used to penetrate armored vehicles and reinforce structures, proving that precision can be as important as power in warfare. Then, we delved into the impact of landmines, a controversial yet undeniably effective tool for area denial and psychological warfare. Their hidden nature and lingering threat, long after conflicts have ended, are what make them a topic of continued international debate. Understanding these tools of war gives us a deeper insight into the complexities of military operations. The combination of science, engineering, strategy, and sometimes ethical considerations shape the use of these explosives. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning.